guys, welcome to Sassy Goes Keto and this is Sassy here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful cooking up a storm day because I know I am. Today it is a day for cooking. So it is moderate outside, it's about 50 degrees. So I have a new recipe that I wanna try with you guys and see how you like it. Um, we're gonna be making a keto uh, nugget burger, which, oh guys, yummy. I saw the recipe and this one was totally different than what I'm going to be making for you guys, but I figured that I would ketoize it because there's a lot more ingredients in it than not. So, um, but it's just like having a burger and chicken nuggets all at the same time. So really excited, ready to get this in for you. So let's take you in for the recipe. I will tell you what we have on the recipe and we'll go from there. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Just getting off from being sick. Okay, so on some of the ingredients that you'll need is you're you are going to let me see if I can pull this down. Let's turn this around and I've got it plugged in. I'm put it here. Let's turn this around see if we can get you. Alright, on some of the ingredients that you're going to need, you are going to need um a butt rub or any kind of seasons you like. I mean on the butt rub. It has uh, salt, black pepper, onion, garlic, paprika, chipotle powder, smoked jalapeno. Um, let's see here. It uh, contains no sugar or MSGs. So you can either put all that in there yourself or you can get you a nice little butt rub. So this is really delicious. I love this butt rub. I use it, been using it quite a bit lately. So it is one of my go-to's. I have two teaspoons of this that I'm going to be using. I have my pink Himalayan salt, which I'm going to be doing a quarter of a teaspoon because this does have a little bit of salt in it. I'm going to be using also a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Um, I'm using one teaspoon of garlic powder and a half of a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Okay, you also are going to need one egg and you'll need a half of a cup of the Parmesan um, freshly grated Parmesan and that's what I have here. Um, I've been, I've been trying to do the actual fresh grated Parmesan so that way you don't get the extra thing, the all natural ingredients in here, but yeah, this one's only cultured milk salts. So, and it says cellulose for prevent from caking. So I know it's not quite a keto one, but if you like to get your fresh, um, Parmesan and go ahead and grate it, that is great as well. You are going to need three rather large chicken breasts. I just picked up this pack of chicken breasts that we have um, at our local grocery store. And what I did is I went ahead and grinded it up. Uh, yeah, I grinded it up. So here it is, all ground up and ready to go. And I will take and insert that video right here.
Okay guys, now that you watch the video on how I ground up my freshly chicken meat, so that way this is going to act as a nugget bun. It's gonna be the bun on top of it. Oh, I did forget to uh, um, say, I did forget to tell you, sorry about that, that you will need hamburgers because we're gonna be putting the hamburgers in the middle. That's how you're gonna get your nugget, nugget hamburger. Oh, is he? Nugger, nugget hamburger. So, okay, so I have my ground up chicken here, which I'm going to bring you down and show you. I have my ground up chicken, all the spices that I just mentioned, and I'm just gonna sprinkle them all in here. Okay, put this off to the side. And then you're gonna take one egg. For those of you who get squeamish about using your hands, now's the time to look away, skip over. About 10 seconds because Sassy is a hands-on person. I do like using my hands. There's no sense of dirtying up any other dishes. I have water already ready. So you're just gonna mix up your chicken with a little bit of egg. And then I'll get that Parmesan put in here too. You can you can omit the egg if you like. If you don't want that extra protein in here, then that's fine. You don't you do not have to do that. And this is what's gonna make our chicken nugget. Um, I was gonna put celery seed in this because you know everybody knows that the chicken nuggets have celery in it. A hint of celery, a hint of paprika, but I'm leaving that out because I have the butt rub which has tons of different flavors in it. I have the garlic, the onion, and it smells delicious. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one half cup of my freshly grated parm, well, not freshly grated, <laughs> my grated Parmesan. So, and then I'm gonna sprinkle this in here and then I'm going to mix the Parmesan in with that as well. Kind of made a mess, we're gonna get these stragglers. And then you're just gonna mix the Parmesan in there really well. And then we're gonna make some patties out of these. And we're gonna stick them in the oven. We're going to cook them at 325 for 30 minutes. I have my oven already preheated and ready to go. Um, I was aiming for a good four patties, but I might be able to get five um, or buns, five or six buns out of this. So we'll take and see. Let me go wash my hands. Okay, now, the next thing you do, you wanna get a non-stick pan. If you like, you can actually use a pan and put some parchment paper on here to also cook them well, as well to make it easy cleanup. Um, they'll just come right up after um, they get it done. So I'm gonna roughly pour about a teaspoon on here of olive oil. You can use coconut oil, you can use bacon lard, you can use any other kind of oil you like. Um, I have not opened my coconut oil yet, so I'm just gonna use what I have right now, which is the olive oil. And you're only using it just to coat your pan. I mean, this is a non-stick non pan anyways, but your chicken is extra lean. So I wanna just go ahead and use that, and I'm just gonna rub a little bit extra on my hands. And I'm going to try and create four buns with these. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're just gonna make it the size of your burger that you're gonna want your burger to be. Some of them can be, you can make smaller buns if you like, but I like my buns to cover my burger. This is going to shrink just a tad bit. but it is going to be delicious in the long run. You can add more seasonings, less seasonings, however you like. If you're sensitive to that, if you're not sensitive to that, that's okay. Technically, I can probably make a good five burgers out of that because this patty is extremely huge. That was a big, but that's okay. I'll just make a bigger patty for that. Yeah, I'm thinking. I want one to fill me up, so that's why I'm making them larger, I believe. With these th three chicken breasts, you can actually get six patties out of this. 
this one is just going to be extremely big. That's all. And I will just have to make a bigger patty to go to go on it. It's going to puff up a little bit. So um, what they would do, some other people would do, is they would take and freeze this up, put it in the freezer, bring it back, dip it in egg wash, and then put your almond flour or something over the top to do a crispy crust on the top. So I am not going to do that. I could sprinkle a little bit of almond flour on there, but I don't want the extra ingredients on it. To I mean, this is what it technically calls it a chicken nugget burger, is if you take and put it in the freezer, let it solidify, and then take it out and dip it in the egg wash, and then put the almond, uh, almond flour on top of it, and then go ahead and bake it. Okay, so since I'm not doing that, I already have the egg in here. It already has enough moisture on it. Um, and I will be trying this recipe two or three different times. This is the one I'm going to try first. And then the next one I will actually try to dip it in to make it more like a chicken nugget. But I guess that was how it would be for a nugget burger. See, I'm so indecisive. This is what I go through when... I'm actually creating a video and I'm taking you guys through this video as I'm doing this myself. This is just something that I saw, so I'm not sure that I'm going to put these in the freezer and freeze them up, but I just might because that's going to be so much better if I do that, but maybe if I just... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this is. I mean, it's going to basically be a bun. I will try to dip it in the egg wash and then almond flour later just to get that top crunch on it. I mean, I actually probably could sprinkle on here. So, let's see. Let's see what I can find to sprinkle. You know how burgers always have something on top. So guess what? We're going to add some chia seeds. It's not sesame seeds. I don't have sesame seeds, but you know what? This is going to work. So it's not going to be quite a chicken nugget, but might revise it. <laughs> but just like I said, you guys are here for the long haul. This is my experiment. This is what I'm doing. So faults and all. We're here. See if we can rename this because I don't think it's going to quite be a chicken nugget burger because chicken nuggets you fry. So look at them cheese seeds on top. That way it'll look like a burger. And I roughly did probably about a tablespoon. I just put it around there. All right, and there is the buns that we have for that. So I'm going to go ahead and get these buns cooking. And then put, we're going to put these in the oven at 325 for 30 minutes. They're going to rise up and do their thing. We'll take them out and we're, these are going to be our buns. And then we will make our hamburger patties. All right, guys, what I have next is I took my packet of hamburger, which is approximately 2.54 pounds, so 2.5 pounds of hamburger. And I'm going to be making really good patties. I'm not going to be putting any seasonings or any, anything inside of here, but you're just going to make sure your burger is big because you want that burger to fit on your bun. So I'm going to make it that big. I have quite a few of them that are going to be big and they will shrink up guys because this is not lean hamburger at all. It is it's 80-20, so it's still going to shrink up. So you're just going to compact your burger in together and then fry these up. Get them done. I'm 
try to make them big like my patty is going to be. And then I'll get these fried up. I want to put some seasonings on top. The seasonings I'm going to use and I'm just going to be taking putting um, butt rub over the top of it. Like I got off into yeah. making this and for <laughs> forgot to push pause on the video, but that's okay. All right, and I'll get these fried up and then I'll bring you guys right back. All right. Get some butt rub over the top of these. Close that up and let's get a frying. I have no light over here. Because my light blew out, so I'm not going to take you guys through the process of frying the burger. Um, I'm just going to be putting a tablespoon of butter, and then I'm going to be frying these on each side until they're completely done. Alright, I got them frying up. I've got two done right here. I just wanted to bring you guys over and show you that I'm frying them up. Alright guys, I just took these out of the oven. They were in there for 35 minutes. The juice is running. They look really good. So now we're going to let these sit and cool. And then once they cool, they're done completely. Once they cool, we're going to go ahead and slice them. All right, I let these sit for a little bit just so I can touch them. They're still steamy, but they're not completely hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and slice this, for the chicken, on top. And then that is going to be our burger patty, or our hamburger patty. Hamburger bun. Mmm. Very delicious. Wow. So now we have our, our bun. Which of course is going to be a little bit messy yet because I didn't put anything down on the bottom. But that's okay. It's going to be delicious. Alright, so we got that cut. I'm going to go ahead and cut these other three. And then we'll go ahead and get some more ingredients out. All right, guys, the hamburgers are done. The patties are cooled off, but they're not too cool. They're still a little steamy. We got all of our ingredients. I have some leaf lettuce, onion. I have some avocado ready. Mayonnaise of your choice. I'm choosing Hellman's. I know there's better mayonnaise options out there, but this is what I have. Pepperoncinis. Um, ketchup. Mustard of your choice, and some, of course, Jehu's barbecue sauce. So, and then for our cheese, we are going to have the mozzarella wrap cheese, just because these are so big. Now, <clears throat> if you're doing keto, one of these will probably fit for two people, because this is huge. But this is one meal a day for us, so this is all the protein, definitely, that we're going to need. And I'll probably end up getting full off of half of it, but, you know, sometimes your eyes are bigger than your stomach, so... We're going to go right ahead and we're going to continue making this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my burger or my bun over and I'm going to start putting my mayonnaise Okay. I want mustard. And this is just a, a horseradish mustard. You can get any other kind of mustard that you like. And a little bit of barbecue sauce. I'm not going to put ketchup. That is going to go on top. And I did not fry up any bacon. I was going to fry up bacon, but it's getting rather late. So you guys can fry up bacon and put bacon on this. And that would be wonderful. Alright, so then I'm going to take my burger... And I'm going to put that right on top of all that. Look at all the juices go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And of course, you want 
your cheese to be nice. And it ripped on me. Well, that's okay. These things never want to come off for me. Yummy, yummy. I'm so excited. And then I'm going to layer the cheese over the top here. Well, that's a big slice of cheese. <laughs> I probably could have folded that in half and got that's okay. We're just going to put it right over the top and it's going to melt onto there. So then I'm going to add my two pieces of lettuce. And we're going to do a couple onions. One slice. And I'm going to add a little bit of ketchup on top. And this is going to be a big burger, guys. Yummy, yummy, yummy. A little bit of ketchup on top. For those of you that like avocado, you can use, or that don't like avocado, you can omit the avocado. But, oh, wow. Ultimate fail. Good Lord. Well, if I ever get it up on there. There we go. And I'm going to put that up there. All right, what we are going to do is I'm going to push that down there. And look, this is one humongous burger, guys. Delicious, yummy, huge. <laughs> it's messy. Because I added too much sauce. But that's okay. Let me get it out. This one is... We'll make another one not so messy. My daughter will only eat like the ketchup and the lettuce and stuff like that on it. What did I do with my knife? I found it up there. It is. It's such a big burger, guys. Get this cut in half. I mean, hey, all in, all in for a sloppy burger. I love it. And there you guys go. The keto sassy size. Huge. Guess I'm going to call it a chicken burger because it can't be a chicken nugget because it's not breaded. But look at that, guys. Yum me. Oh my goodness. So delicious. So, once again, thank you for joining me for this recipe. And you guys, we are going to eat. You guys have a wonderful cooking up a storm day, and this experiment turned out really, really good. So I took a recipe that said chicken nugget burger and turned it into a burger of my own, and that's how we're going to play it. So I'm going to give it a name, and we're going to see. I'm going to enjoy this thoroughly. So you guys have a wonderful day, and we will see you guys on the next recipe. Thank you.